Hello and welcome to My Bolt EUV. I am Jim and we're going from point A to point B. Today we're going to examine some EV news that is important for Bolt EV and Bolt EUV owners. And most of it is centers around Tesla. So let's jump right in and examine some of these truths. First, getting to the bottom of this information is nearly impossible. As I have said many times in the past, the news media is nothing more than the puppets of their puppet masters, the fossil fuel cartels. They spread pop propaganda and use fear, uncertainty, and doubt to confuse those who are deeply rooted in the news cycle and easily confused by disinformation and sometimes outright lies. Our first story here is a prime example. First, let's examine some of the headlines that center around this story. Tesla lays off hundreds as it cuts its entire supercharger team, or Tesla cuts entire supercharger team in the latest round of layoffs. Tesla fires charger team amid hundreds of layoffs. Elon Musk just laid off his entire supercharger staff. Tesla shares drop after Musk cuts about 500 jobs in the supercharger team. These are just some of the headlines that I found in less than 30 seconds on the internet. Every single headline, a flat out lie. <clears throat> now let's examine the meat of the story, shall we? Never assume anything. The first thing they did was make an assumption that the firing of these people meant the end of the installations of hundreds, if not thousands, of superchargers. Why would he do such a thing right in the middle of the layoffs that he has in the production facilities? Let's examine this. At the core of the issue, was the chief of his charging division, Rebecca Tanucci. After she had cut 15 to 20% of her staff, she went to meet with Musk, hoping that he would see a massive change in the expansion of the supercharging network. The meeting did not go as she planned after her presentation, and then Musk asked for additional layoffs after her presentation. When she balked, which is not something you do with Elon Musk, he responded by firing her and her entire 500 member team. And let's stop right there for a minute and ask two important questions. Why would Musk want to upend his own business when he has $5 billion in funding from the U.S. government to expand his network? And will firing a team stop the manufacturing, delivery, and installation of superchargers? The answer is simple. Tesla will keep the contract with the government and Tesla will keep on expanding their network. Musk himself confirmed that in a post on X just two short days after the firing. And as of today, Tesla is in the process of rehiring a good majority of the team that was fired. He fired them to make a point and a very valid point. Additionally, more Tesla news stated that they saw a decline year over year in sales from the first quarter of 2023 as compared to the first quarter of 2024. The report is patently false. While the growth was not as big as hoped, it certainly was not a decrease. So chalk that up as a lie from our media outlets. Second, a story that is near and dear to my heart as a Bolt owner, the rollout of the General Motors NAX adapter. Now here's a good story. Back in April, there was some exciting news. The stories began to circulate on the message boards that the GM NAX adapter could be ordered. It was not shipping, but you could place an order and it was only $25. It was GM part number 85090442. You can look that up on the internet. Well, it turned out not to be so wonderful. I can tell you that the part number never made it into their online system. I'm a bit of a hacker and I searched in every single way possible and it was never there. Some people reported going to or calling their dealers and placing an order, but now those same people are reporting that their order has been canceled. I can bet you one thing, even if it was not canceled, it's not gonna get here anytime soon, and it will not be $25 when they finally do 
show up. GM is testing their adapter right now on the Tesla network. The Out of Spec folks tweeted that about two weeks ago. But it's going to take them longer than it did Ford because unlike Ford, General Motors has about eight different EV models on the market right now or about to be introduced. Not just three like the F Ford folks did, the F-150, the Mach-E, and the Transit vans. So there's going to be a little bit of additional time for GM to test everything. For those of you who want to go ahead and purchase a third-party adapter like the A to Z or the Electron adapter, I would strongly advise against it. You are liable to be purchasing a brick that will never work with a bolt. Just be careful and be patient. Third, as I've already alluded to earlier, while EV sales have slowed, they have not decreased. The first quarter results were not staggering, but there was an increase from 2023 to 2024. To listen to the news, you would think that the public has reversed trend and they're only buying gas-powered cars. Even that sector was down when comparing first quarter sales in 2023 to those in 2024. Cybertruck sales also passed the Rivian by a substantial margin in the month of March. It is predicted that by the end of this year, the Cybertruck will be outselling the Ford F-150 Lightning. In one final Bolt-related story, is there any news on the next generation Bolt? Not really, but what I can glean from the official General Motors communications on the web are that it will remain about the same size as the current Bolt. It will be based on the Bolt EUV platform. It will be on the Ultium platform, but not just any Ultium platform. It will be the first General Motor EV to use the Ultium LFP batteries. Thirdly, GM is considering moving their build site from where it is now or where it was in December to their Fairfax plant in Virginia. And finally, it will not show up at dealerships until late 2025 as a 2026 model, and it could possibly be early 2026 before we see the next generation Bolt. Now wrapping up all the General Motors news, the Chevy Blazer EV sales are increasing and the Equinox EV is available for purchase on the Chevy website, although there are none at the dealerships yet. You can go in and configure and place your order. In my next EV news roundup, I will evaluate the new tariffs imposed by Biden on China regarding EVs and batteries. It's really going to affect the Polestar. And who is the tariff really aimed at? Is it BYD or is it an attempt to hurt Tesla's partnership with CATL? I'll tell you what, let me do some research on this and I'll come back and give you a full, true report on what's going on with the uh, tariffs that Biden just imposed on China. Well, that's a wrap, folks, and thanks for stopping by my Bolt EUV. Please do remember to subscribe, share, comment, and like this video, and click that notification bell if you want to know when I upload something new. Remember, treat everyone with kindness, put a smile on your face, help someone today, and pay it forward when someone does the same for you. Thanks again, and I'll see you all again real, real soon, or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Remember, I am taking a trip starting this weekend, so I will be out there going from point A to point B to point C and even point D. And I'll try to provide some information on YouTube while I'm taking the trip. I'm going to document this one in great detail using ABRP. So I'll see you again as soon as I'm back from that trip and have time to put together that information. Take it easy, everybody. Be safe out there.